Cine Daisies, welcome back. I'm Machara Kirk, joined by Andrew Flash Gordon. What's up? And we have a new trailer here from Maddox Films, which is very exciting because they often do a lot of movies that kind of have a social message. This one is starring Vicky Koshal and Sara Ali Khan. It is called Zara Hatke Zara Bachke. It is directed by Lachman Laxman Ut- Utekar. Utikar, produced by Dinesh Vijan. So, you guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video. If you are enjoying what you're watching, let's check it out. Oh, it's got like a nice retro feel to it with like. Nirvata Dinesh Vijan and Lakshman Utikar ki or se pesh hai. Kahani indoor me basi ek madhyam bargi saadi suda jode ki kapil aur somya. करीना के काका की छोरी है गोपी के साथ मिलन के पुलाव पका रिया है गोपी तो छोरे का दाब होता है वही yeah. तो टेंशन है आजकल के लोंडे भी तो दिशाहीन हो गए हैं दे हैव टू रीफॉर्म लव हर दिन मैं कर दे रही हूं अगली बार हाथ लगाया ना तो एफआर कर दूंगी हो सके तो इनको मेडिकली अनफिट कर दो oh. तुम यार पहलवान <laughs> मेरी मारने पे कितने लोग हो इससे डिवोर्स जल्दी हो जाए लेकिन पिता बात क्या है साथ रहने में उसी क्या है दोनों मसला क्या है यार दो तो जून से देखिए कपिल सौम्या और पूरे परिवार की खट्टी मिट्टी शरारतों से भरी ये फिल्म जरा हट के जरा बच के बंदा ना एक ही चीज से बोर हो जाता है हमने भी बड़ी पतंगे उड़ाई हैं जवानी में oh my God. एक मेरी खास पतंग थी एक दिन रात को मैंने चटका मारा जो आपकी जादू होगी सारे तेरे चक्के लाइन हो जाने अभी एक सेकंड में I have to ask the audience, okay, about that last joke. So in Thai, we say flying a kite to mean a certain thing. You know what I mean? Is that what Uncle was talking about? About like, I don't know if that was was clear what I was saying. Uh, I'm not sure, but about a man touching himself. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, I got that. I, I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out when we see it. <laughs> but uh, I will say that I, I, I really like the whole family feel dynamic of it. And just yeah. Like, just going over, you know, the beauties and the perils, if you will, about marriage and love. And yeah, there are so many beautiful things, uh, you know, to marriage. And then there are some downfalls too. And when I say downfalls, like there are things that can happen. You can get sick of each other. Yeah. You know, just uh, you, I mean, you're with someone for so long, and you know, getting what used to their tendencies and such. So I really feel like this film's going to do a good job of just going over the pros and the cons of marriage, or at least I hope that's what it's going to be doing. I'm very curious because I feel like knowing because I've watched a lot of films from this production company, mm. Maddox Films. And and like I said, they tend to be more about like social issues or exploring topics that are kind of taboo or that people don't really talk about. Using comedy to kind of like broach the conversation. Obviously, in India, divorce isn't really something that people do that much. But I feel like it is kind of probably more on the rise. And you guys can tell me in the comments if I'm correct. I feel like this film is approaching the, like you say, the ups and downs of the relationship, the potential breakdown. But also what I liked was it's showing that it's not just about the two of them, probably especially within Indian culture. A marriage isn't just a marriage between two people, but it is a marriage between the families as well. And so you're seeing how that is affecting mm-hmm. their families and 
and you know everyone is kind of getting involved but i feel like the trailer didn't give us too much which is great it's just setting up the premise but i'm still like very curious because i feel like there is a there is going to be a deeper thing there's often like a like a one two punch with these type of films where it's like you thought it was one thing but it's actually about this other thing. And so I'm very curious to see what that other thing is that this movie is actually about. Yeah, and first of all, too, I, I think the chemistry between the two actors, I thought they just did a good job of conveying how much chemistry they do have on screen. Right. So I think that's one part that I, I'm looking forward to seeing, like just getting invested in that. I think another aspect of this that really intrigued me was seeing them falling in love for the first time. Right. Seeing what causes them to fall out of love and then possibly rekindling that love again maybe discovering somewhere in there when they fall out of love like wait why did we fall in love in the first place when we got to rekindle that if if you will which obviously has happened in many situations yeah. i'm sure so i mean that's something like that i'm sure many people can relate to so i i'm really looking forward to that aspect that looked you know to be intriguing as well i thought you made a great point about just like how it's affecting the families and all that too and like you saw that one person say they're gonna do a divorce and everyone was like outraged yeah. and stuff so yeah where it's like scoffed upon like how dare you even yeah. think about something like this so. it, like it's so out there but also i thought like visually and i don't know if this is going to translate into the film as well but i thought it was really cute that they started out the trailer in kind of like the old format where it was like that square format and it was had like kind of the film grain and mm, everything and yeah. and they show the cassette tape going in and it has that kind of retro feel and yes. i don't know if the film is supposed to be like period in the sense that it's set like in the past like in the 80s or the 90s or whatever but it was really cute to kind of give us that sense of like this is the a side and if you know anything about cassette tapes and some of, some of you guys may be way too young to remember but usually like the a side is where all the good songs are and yeah. then the b side is the negative is where like the songs that aren't as popular are yeah and so i thought that was a cool touch to have it be like oh this is like the cute side of romance and like look at it it's like a movie it's this thing that we're sold and then as as it pans out into the relationship kind of falling apart, it goes into widescreen and then they show the B side, which is like, this is the unpopular side and we're going to show you that now. Yeah, no, that's, uh, I think that's a very visual like cue that you really yeah. picked up on and I'm curious if they are going to go that route too and then like I said earlier with figuring out why they how they fell in love and then why they fell out of love like that's the A side to the B side and then hopefully it comes back to the A side again in terms of their relationship and then just falling back in love again and realizing like hey you know what even though we might drive each other crazy sometimes we still love each other and like, you're such an optimist <laughs> Because I'm like, what if the ending is they come around to being friends and realize that this it's relationship not is not working and we should just get a divorce, but we're friends. Clearly, you saw the breakup. The breakup? Oh, uh, with Vince Vaughn. No, I have not. Oh, I have whoops. not actually. Spoiled it. I've ah. seen Marriage Story. That's that's depressing. <laughs> this is very interesting. So let us know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. What do you think this movie is actually about? Because I am not convinced that it's just about divorce. Maybe it is. Yeah, we'll catch you next time. I'm Achara Kirk. This is... Andrew Flash Gordon. Ciao!